everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm doing my top 10 favourite lipsticks. It was meant to be top 5 but I couldn't narrow it down so it had to be 10. Also if you're interested in buying any of these products you can go over to my piggyback account and I will link that in the description for you to check out and basically I will link down all of these products on that account and if you want to buy any of them then you can it basically links you directly to amazon for you to go and buy them so it's really really easy and the reason why i always mention this is because every time someone buys something i get five dollars so i don't know what that works out in pounds but yeah so if you want to do that then do that but obviously if you don't then no But it feels so good to be sat back down just filming a casual video because I haven't been doing that in ages. Last week I was vlogging every single day and it because it was my holiday. So if you haven't seen them, they're in a playlist if you want to go and watch them. But yeah, it's so tiring kind of not filming the videos like vlogs, but editing them every night and the upload speed was so bad. It took me like three hours and a half to upload every single video and at home it takes me what seven minutes um so <laughs> that was not good anyway let's get into today's video so the first lipstick that I'm going to talk about is the MUA Velvet Lip Lacquer in fact I've actually got quite a lot of MUA uh, lipsticks in this video and this is obviously a matte liquid lipstick I've had this for a very long time it has a Dofa applicator as you can see and it applies really really well onto the lips it is quite long lasting to be honest with you it's one of the first liquid lipsticks I ever got and I really do like it I still even now after over a year of having this product I still use this in fact is it two years no it must be just over a year um I still reach for this at least once a week it's definitely in my everyday makeup bag i've already swatched it before and i couldn't get it off um, my hand um, because i have filmed this part before but i wasn't happy with it um but yeah so this is what the shade looks like it's a really kind of nice kind of pinky shade it's very kind of subtly pink but also like a really nice nude matte shade. It's something that if you're a beginner to matte lipsticks would be a really good one because you don't want anything too out there. The next one is the NYX or NYX, whatever you say, lingerie lipsticks. This is a whole collection of lipsticks and they're very good quality. This is in the shade embellishment, I think, um, if I'm reading the right bit. Um, but it's a really nice kind of cool toned, purpley color. Again, it's a doe for applicator. And it's just one of those lipsticks that I really like because I went through a stage where I was obsessed with cool toned eyeshadow and cool toned lipsticks. And this was literally the perfect lipstick for me. If I swatch it on my hand, you can see that it is very kind of purpley in comparison to the bottom one. It's very kind of purpley in color. The bottom one's more like pinky. And it just means that when you wear like gray eyeshadows or a purpley kind of cool toned eyeshadow, it just complements that so well. So that's why I love this one. And it does feel quite dry on the lips. It's not the most comfortable of lipsticks to wear. It is very drying, um, more so than the MUA one, but it is also a very nice color that I do like to wear. The next one is another one from MUA and it's just a one pound lipstick. And this was not my favorite lipstick when I first got it. I, I first got it because I thought, oh, I'll give it a go because it's only a pound. And I really liked the shade of it. And I didn't like it because the formula of the lipstick is pretty bad. Like I wouldn't recommend this lipstick for the formula because it feels obviously dry on the lips, but it, it looks matte because that's what it's supposed to be. But it's also very bitty. It's kind of like not a smooth texture. It's got like bits in it um, from the lipstick, not from dust or anything. Um, and I don't really like that fact. It doesn't stay on your lips very long. If you drink something or eat something, then that's it, it's gone. And you also can't really apply this lipstick without lining your lips because it looks weird. It just kind of looks like your lips are really smudged. And I don't like that. So you have to line your lips, but there is a little part at the bottom for lining your lips. The reason why though, I love this lipstick and the reason why I actually wear it quite often is because I'm obsessed with the color. So if I show you, it's like here, um, you can see it's just a really nice nudie kind of pinky color. And it's just sort of like, it is that kind of perfect color that I want, 
but the formula is not very good. So it's it's my favourite colour and that's why I love it. And also because it doesn't stay on that long, it doesn't, it all rubs off at the same time. It doesn't just slowly rub off from the middle and look really weird. It does all rub off at the same time. The next one is also from MUA. Don't worry, this is the final one from MUA. Um, I just thought I'd sort of group them together. And this one is in the shade Bear. And it's a very nudie colour. The formula of this lipstick is good. So this isn't a matte one. This is just a normal, I think it's a... Um, a velvety one, I'm not entirely sure, but it is a lot better in terms of formula. As for the colour, it's just really kind of paley, kind of pinky nude. And this is something that I've got into very recently because I've been applying this on my lips and then lining it with this little thing at the end, the pot at the end. And then I've been going over the top with some of the sleek matte liquid lipsticks, which I'll come on to in a second. And I've just been loving that combination and it just kind of makes your lips look more subtle, especially if you're you're wearing like winged eyeliner or something and you want something a little bit more subtle. I just think it looks really nice. So that's why I like that one. Right, the next two I'm gonna show you are by the same brand and they're quite similar shades. So that's what the reason why I wanted to kind of show you them together. Well, they're both by the brand Essence and it's in the shade Barely There. And I wear this lipstick so much. It's nearly getting to the end kind of and if I kind of show you somewhere can I show you there I'll show you there it's just a nice kind of nudie kind of brownie color on your hand it swatches differently to on your lips because obviously your hand is pale and your lips are a different color they're like pinky um it looks really nice and nudie brown and it just goes with every single eye look possible it's definitely my favorite lipstick by far the other one is a little bit darker than that and it's in the shade 28 time for a toffee break so this is a bit darker. So if you compare it to the one above, so this is the the other one, this is slightly darker, as you can see. Well, it is quite a bit darker. So it depends what you're sort of going for. Or do you want it to be really like bam or do you want it to be more of a nudie brown? So if you're into your brown lipsticks like I am, then I would suggest starting off with this one, the more paler one, and then working your way up to this one, the more darker one. I love these two. These are my all time favorite lipsticks now I've decided. Okay, the next one I had to mention because, you know, you'd be like, where the hell is the lipstick, Georgie? And this is the Makeup Revolution Lux Matte Lip Kit. You're probably sick of me talking about this because it was in my giveaway, because it just goes in every favourites. But I absolutely love these little kits that they do. First of all, the packaging looks amazing. That's why I kept the packaging. This one is in the shade Noble. I've got it on today but I have also got some um, product on top as well, so you can't really see the true color. But it comes with two products, the lip liner and the liquid lipstick. The lip liner is really, really creamy. I do actually need to sharpen mine, but if you see it there, it's a really kind of pigmented um, color, and it also almost matches the shade above. So it's kind of one of those lip liners that can match so many different um, lipsticks. So you, you can use it for whatever you want. And then the liquid lipstick itself, it's a big bottle or pot, whatever you want to say. Um, so you've got lots of product in there and the color is quite similar to some of my others. Oh, the box, box as well. Um, but I'll show you here. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's just nudie kind of brown colour and it's kind of that really perfect brownie nudie matte lipstick. It's definitely one of my favourites. I love my brown lipsticks as you've probably already known and it's just not too nude. It's a bit more than that. So it just, it basically, it looks really good. So talking about metallic lipsticks, I've got a couple here and these are from the brand Sleek. And the first one is in the shade... Roman copper, which is just a really nice kind of coppery color. I've talked about these all the time, but I have to feature them. Um, they're new out in their collection and they're perfect for popping over the top of lipsticks like I have done today. And it just adds that little bit of extra something. I can't wear a lipstick without putting this on now. So I'll try and find a space on my hand to swatch it um, like here, but it kind of looks really, really pigmented on its own so it is pigmented on its own but if you put it on your lips it just looks so nice over the top of lipsticks and adds that kind of coppery glow especially if you put it in the middle and then the other one is in the shade volcanic and it's more of a pinky shade 
So again, um, if I find a space here, it's more kind of purpley colored and that would probably go really, really well with the NYX one, the purpley one. So yeah, that's a really good lipstick and I would highly recommend getting these because I use them every single day on top of every single lipstick. They go on top of matte liquid lipsticks, they go on top of normal lipsticks, they're brilliant. The so next one is this NYX or NYX soft matte lip cream and this one's in the shade Amsterdam. Now this is the only red lipstick that I own because I don't wear red lipstick that much but at Christmas time everyone tends to wear red lipstick so that's when I'm going to be wearing this one but it is a matte liquid lipstick. It's probably the most or the least drying liquid lipsticks that I've ever tried. They don't really dry you out as much which is obviously really good um, in comparison to the other NYX ones I've got. So again, if I can find some space, I'm not entirely sure where, um, it looks like this. So if you put one coat on, it kind of almost looks like a pinky color. So you do have to build it up with like three coats to really get that red color to show through, which is the only downside. But the actual formula of it, you can't feel that it's dry on your lips. So it does feel quite nice. So this range of lipsticks would be very good if you're the kind of person that likes that. And it is quite long lasting, but it does rub off a little bit in the middle and um, it definitely wouldn't last you all day, probably till mid afternoon, but yeah. And the final one is a lip gloss and this is from Soap and Glory. The Soap and Glory lip glosses are amazing for making your lips look a lot fuller and a lot bigger than they were before because I don't know what it is, they've got something in it that I feel like is something that makes your lips tingle and just makes them look bigger. I think that's the reason why they're so expensive. This actually was gifted to me for Christmas, so I don't know how much it is, but I know it's quite pricey. Um, but they've definitely got something in them that makes them really good. So this is definitely my all time favorite lip gloss. In fact, it's the only one in my makeup collection that I actually use. So there we go. So if I kind of show it, you can kind of see it on its own here. It looks kind of pinky, you can kind of see it a little bit, but it's got a little bit of color to it. It's a little bit pinky um, and I don't wear it on its own because it's so sheer that you can see my foundation on my lips through it. So that is everything for my top 10 favorite lipsticks. Um, I didn't swatch them on my lips because there's too many and my lips would get really, really dry. But anyway, so that is everything. Hope you enjoyed. Give the video a thumbs up if you did and remember to subscribe for more new videos and I'll see you in the next one.